In this video, I'm going to be playing a Madden 23 gameplay. Now, you guys have been asking for this video. I'm going to show you my scheme just kind of in real action, just want some of my favorites. Um, if you want to get the exact offense and defense that I'm running in this video, the uh, link is in the description to join the Patreon. That's where you'll get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So what we're going to do real quick is I wanted to walk you through my abilities and then we'll jump into game. So on the offensive side of the ball, um, here are the abilities that I would recommend. I've got John. This, I'm running trip side in on offense, uh, New England, and then I'm running um, probably 3-3 three, three Cub on defense with some new stuff that I'm doing out of the cover four defense out of there. So uh, John Elway, three, uh, uh, John Elway, set feet lead, hot route master, fearless, and Omaha. Um, if you don't want to use Omaha, use Gambit. Those are my two favorite abilities. Debo Samuel, brand new card, zero AP, short out elite. Uh, Taysom Hill, zero AP short in elite. These are uh, really good cards that just came out today in the zero chill promo. Steve Smith, short in elite for zero AP. Joe Thomas, uh, I got zero AP and one AP edge protector on him. Saquon Barkley, one AP backfield mismatch. Jackie Slater, natural talent. Jason Kelsey, uh, post up. And then uh, Larry Allen, puller elite. Just because I had extra AP, um, I'm going to use him as a pulling guard in the 45 quick base. Uh, Jim Taylor, zero AP honorary lineman. If I ever want to just block by running back a lot, I'll sub him in, and he does really good at blocking dollar blitzes. Uh, Jonathan Ogden, one AP edge protector. Cooper Cup, short and elite. Um, and then Devin Hester for return man. So that is the abilities I'm rocking on offense. And then on defense, what I have here, um, I'm going to run a lot of cover four. So I've got my safeties are the most important part of my defense. We have mid zone knockout pick artists and deep out zone knockout on Calvin Johnson. He's going to be a safety for me. We have the same ability stack on Ty Law. So mid zone knockout pick artists, deep out zone knockout. And then uh, Ted Hedricks, I actually think the abilities on this card is really bad, but I am testing them out as just a user in my defense. Um, so I put zero AP chip drill on him. Rizzo Douglas is my outside corner, just a guy that gets pick artists and deep out zone knockout for one AP each. Uh, defensive ends, I think Speedster is a really good ability. Um, and Cameron Wake and Javon Curse both get that for zero AP. And then at nose tackle, we got Reggie White with zero AP El Toro. I find that I get pretty good sheds in this defense. Um, and so we're going to be utilizing that. Rod Woodson, I have him with deep route knockout. If I ever want to man somebody up, this is my guy. And then also have pick artists on him. Uh, Steve Atwater, I must have pick artist zero AP. Same thing with Jeremy Chin, pick artist for zero AP. Cam Chancellor doesn't really play for me, but in goal line situations, he does have zero AP goal line stuff. Lawrence Taylor doesn't really play for me, but he does have zero AP pick artists in case um, you know we ever want to sub him in in certain situations where we drop defense alignment and coverage. Same thing with Derek Brooks. Patrick Peterson has zero AP pick artists, so if I ever want to go to dollar, I have a guy that I can put in and put on the field and it's going to play well. And then Mike Haynes, my other outside cornerback, has pick artists and deep out zone knockout. Playbooks I'm rocking for this video is going to be New England Patriots, and on defense we're rocking the 46 uh, playbook. So um, again, this is uh, if you want to get my full ebooks on. Uh, either one of my offense or the defense, everything is in the Patreon, and it's all it, it's just you get everything for ten bucks. So you get everything for ten bucks, um, and if you want to sign up for that, the link is down in the description. So uh, gonna jump into this gameplay here. I've been getting a lot of requests, uh, getting getting a lot of requests um, to do like a live commentary gameplay style. So let me know how you guys like this video. If you want to see more gameplays, comment down below. Um, hit the like button or whatever. Uh, let me know that you guys enjoyed this content. Um, trying to do something a little bit different, change it up as we kind of go into December, getting into the later part of the Madden season. Um, kind of wanted to do some more authentic gameplays and just kind of talk through what I'm thinking, why I'm thinking it. Uh, we're dropping a brand new defensive ebook this week in the Patreon with some of the stuff that I'll be showing you today. We dropped a full mini scheme in two film rooms in there um, earlier this morning. And then if you guys also, I also dropped a air raid offensive ebook in memory of Mike Leach. Uh, so if you want to check all that stuff out, it's all linked down in the description. Patreon gets you access to literally everything um, for just 10 bucks. So, all right. So we're playing my man Slim Jim and, um, and we'll see how we do. All right, good. So he gets ball first. Um, So coming out, um, one of the things I did want to talk a little bit about in this gameplay is a little bit more strategy. 
Um, I think it makes a lot of sense to always sky kick. Um, and then the other thing I was going to say about that is defensively in your first drive, you're trying to kind of get a feel for what your opponent's wanting to do. So you don't want to be, in my opinion, too aggressive, but you want to do a couple things. You want to have some, you want to play some coverage. You want to have some pressure. Um, those are all things that you want to do. So coming out here, we're going to start out with a uh, kind of a double Mabel defensive look out of this 3-3 three, three, um, three, three, uh, wide or 3-3 three, three cub. And actually, it does look like he's going to go ahead and run the ball. So let's see. Yep. So if he wants to run the ball, we're going to have to play a little bit more. Um, we're going to have to play a little different. So I'm actually going to change this up. We're going to go, we're going to put the curl flats on 25. What that does is it's going to cancel the underneath matching principles of the defense. And then we're still going to play our standard coverage. And there you see, we're going to play a little better run defense with that. Just kind of see, just kind of get a feel for what he wants to do. Um, I think it's really important. So you see here, he's going to a passing set. So as they start to, um, you know, kind of go through their first drive, they're going to show you, you know, just different things um, that they like to do. There you see, and that's Speedster. That's what I'm talking about. Like, I just find you get really good sheds uh, with Speedster. That's just my opinion. All right, so right here, we're gonna do some. We're gonna do a little, little double, Mabel. Kind of see what he's about here. See if KO can I my KO KO. It can. Perfect. All right, so fourth and twenty-four. So we're off to a pretty good start on defense. Um, the reason I didn't go down to three-three Cub right there is I, I could have gone down to three-three Cub easily. I probably should have, to be honest. I just was uh, just wanted to kind of get make sure I got my setup in from a coverage perspective because I just again I didn't send any pressure, dude. I had fumbled. Okay, I'm done returning punts and kicks. I'm gonna literally fair catch everything and run out of bounds because I have fumbled the ball more in the last two days than I can I can remember. I've fumbled the ball so much lately. All right, so he's in 3-3. Three, three. I know a little bit about this defense because I have an ebook on it. Uh, we're going to run a little slant post combo here, just kind of see what he's about, uh, if he's going to send heat or if he's going to play coverage. And that's why I love Fearless right there. Taste, see, I fumbled again, man. Oh, my goodness. I just fumbled two times in a row. That's crazy. I don't know why I've been fumbling so much. I really don't. There's Ted Hendricks. Ted Hendricks is, seems like a pretty decent user. Man, that's so frustrating. Like, I have fumbled so much lately. Oh, that was kind of an ugly play. All right, so he, he kind of, I feel like my sheds are just fine. So we're probably going to just try to sit in this. Let's see. There we go. Oh, that was a screen, but anyway. Let's see if he goes for it. All right, so we're, <laughs> we're going on conservative. <laughs> and conservative was kind of broken, to be honest. Um... You still fumble on conservative, so. I think what I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to dive down. I'm so tired of fumbling the ball. I've fumbled the ball so much. Um, I'm going to try to go on conservative and see. I just fumbled the ball like so, so much. Uh, in the last couple days. Little man blitz. Okay. All right, so just kind of seeing, you know, what is he going to do defensively? And it, it basically looks like he's going to blitz us. So we're just going to try to expose his man blitz. Okay. 
Trying for a little bigger play here. I know he's gonna blitz me. Trying right, my man Debo. See if Debo can catch the ball. What I like about Debo is I think he's a little taller than Jalen Waddle. And that is a big deal in my opinion because short out elite is a great ability. But Jalen Waddle was so short that I would often overthrow him on C routes. Um, not free forming, just straight up high balling. Uh, to me was kind of challenging. It's one of my favorite plays right here. I'm gonna see if Debo can make a play. And of course I throw a pick to someone who doesn't have pick artists. That's kind of interesting. I'm surprised that that actually stopped that. It's kind of just forcing it a little bit, but still kind of surprised. Um, I like this defense a lot. So what's so the reason um man he just caught that are you kidding me? We th we really caught that? They have deep out zone knockout and they didn't knock out. That's crazy. I was about to say <laughs> the reason I like 3-3 three, three Cubs cover 4 is because even when you put your zone drops on the field the outside quarters uh or the quarter zones in general they play really good and i was wrong <laughs> i think that was kind of just a fluky seven so we're off to a great start we've already fumbled the ball twice thrown an interception and our ko abilities didn't ko <laughs> i think we get ball at half though so we're, we should be good and he is just, he's literally going to blitz every play. That's like his move. Let's try my man Taysom Hill. See if he fumbles again for me. Let's see if he can run a corner out. What abilities does this guy have? I'm surprised if he's going to run this. He like does that. He does have like nothing. This is one of my favorite plays um, right now. This variation of of Pat's YN. This um, if he presses me, which he didn't. It's just this fade out concept. I really like it a lot. Um, I think that you can actually, and I've talked a little bit about this before about trips tied in. I actually think you can run a ton of air raid um kind of air raid principles from this form from this offense um especially because you can motion into basically two by two spread that's just fantabulous the ea like madden 23 is probably one of the more frustrating maddens um because of stuff like that right there like, the gameplay is is one thing. It's just this, like, stuff like this where, like, I can't adjust my guy fast enough. It takes me forever to hot route. Like, those are some things that we really need to, they really need to clean up. There's a C route. See, like, and that's the other thing. Like, he picked it on the one play, and then I throw a touchdown on the next. Part. It's just interesting. Uh, Make coverage is just such a inconsistent monster. But it is what it is. I'm going to show you one of my favorite goal line plays. Um, this version of PA slot corner I think is really good in the red zone. There's just a lot of quick reads that you can hit. Like that right there. Alright, so we're actually not in a great spot. He'll probably come out and run the same play he ran to score the touchdown. Which we can easily counter that with a couple adjustments. Um... But he does have plenty of time to go down and get seven or three. So this is a key drive in the game. What I think I might start doing is gassing him up a little bit, just kind of seeing how he handles it. So we're gonna actually um we're gonna put our curl leave our curl flats on five. Yeah, he's starting with the run. I figured he would. Let me see if I have this play. 
I think it's the Samwell Blitz 3. Hopefully. We'll see how Samwell Blitz 3 works. So basically, my principle with this coverage that I think is actually pretty good is you want to run your cover 2 side. Um, actually, let's go 30. Let me see if I can get it set up in time. Yeah, that's a pretty good setup. We'll see. It's almost like cover three cloud to a degree. Ted Hendricks is six seven and he can't catch that. That's insane, man. That's insane. There we go. You can tell I'm still learning the ins and outs of this defense, but basically the idea um is to run cover three essentially to run the clouds to the short side of the field and we get a lucky pick um that's why you want pick artists in deep out zone knockout if you have if you don't have pick artists right there he doesn't catch that ball um and you'd be lucky if you actually ko'd it but basically the principle that i'm kind of coming to in zone is if you want to have a great zone defense, you want to run your cover three to the wide side of the field, and then you want to run a cover four or whatever um, to the short side. Let's see how this works here. Good man, Taysom. All right, so we have a lot of, uh, we have some quick, so watch this. So in the two minutes, you can snap the ball super fast. And I've been working on this quick snap offense. We're basically like, let's see if he catches it. Ooh, Debo, I need you to catch that, buddy. He doesn't have a knockout ability. Um, but basically, you come out in your first play. Maybe you do a lot of setups or whatever. And then you hurry up, and you have one hot route um, you know, to the to the line of scrimmage. And I actually think that that play is a really good, really good way to play. Hit my man Steve. So watch right here. So I'm gonna hurry up. Oh, I thought I was. Uh, and we're gonna have one hot round, and we're gonna snap the ball super fast. Night Train just pressed him into the dirt. Are you kidding me? bad clock management there but it's kind of like shocked that night train pressed him into the dirt so bad there's the c route again see how he like randomly like occasionally he'll be able to stop the c route and then the next play it's wide open it's just kind of interesting Gotta go back to that goal line play. I really like this goal line play a lot. Um, I'm still kind of tinkering around with it. I got a pro tip for you in just a second here too. Oh, he ran it bad. Oh, oh, Elway. Oh, Elway. Come on, Saquon, catch this dude. Okay, so the pro tip is this: if you want to, um, I'm trying to think what I say. If you want to help yourself a little bit with the hot route stuff, what you could do is you can you can make one hot route and then it'll let you make another hot route, right? So when you make the when you make the first hot route, it's kind of normal. But what you can do with the second one is if you know your third hot route, you can actually do your second and your third hot route like in rapid succession, basically. Um, and that's what I was trying, or that's what I did on that play. That's why I'm able to snap it a little faster. I don't know if a lot, I'm sure a lot of people know that already, but for those of you that don't, that's just, what the heck? Bro, that's like Deion Sanders. He's a 92 overall. Dude, Calvin Johnson might be the worst player in NFL. Oh my goodness. That's insane. 
Huh, I shouldn't have even been in that defense, but I was just I don't know. That's 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 really bad. That is really not good. That's so crazy, man. Like Oh, and we're on side kicking, because why wouldn't we? Slim Jim Fergie, you are you are one of a kind, my man. Uh that's something. Alright, let's go to curl flood if I can find the plan. He just won't stop blitzing. He literally won't. That's why you have Fearless right there. If I don't have Fearless, I'll throw that ball into the stands. So that's why I think you have. I think, I think Fearless is just a must-have ability. Cooper. All right, let's 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 uh, let's not give up the bomb. This two touchdowns have been insane. Uh, my K, my my, it's like Calvin Johnson is like lagging, is what it. I don't know if he's lagging, but he's like, he's just like dumbing out, um, against a basic streak. Like, he should have been able to guard that. I don't know. That's crazy. Give my fumble back. Give my fumble back. All right. We'll see. Thirty and five. I feel like this is a this is the D though. Like now he's gonna now he's gonna run the ball. Yeah. So I'll show you if I, if I get a chance to. I'll show you my play art in a minute. But basically the idea is you run cover four. Um, to the short side, and then if you look here, I'm running cover three to the wide side. And what that will do is it'll stop some of those fluky things where they try to do like, um, there's different concepts people will try to do. Yeah, actually, I actually messed it up. Yeah, good deal. Do that right at me. Yeah, I think that's one of the probably the better coverages in the game because basically the only thing they have is they can throw a corner route. But the problem with the corner route is they run the risk of they basically run the risk if they throw the corner route of uh, the KO abilities. Let's see how Taysom ags. He can still ag. Taysom Hill is a beast, even though he fumbled for me. So you see here, I make my first shot. Now watch this. I'm going to make two hot routes in rapid succession. I'm going to get it ready, and then I'm going to go boom, boom. So you see I made two hot routes to that side. Didn't matter. I got screamed at. But that's how you can do it. So you can actually make, like, three hot routes for the price, if you will, of two. Um, there's another example. People taste them can make a play. This is actually way better defense than I thought it was. Ooh, fearless. Uh, I gotta freeform that. If I freeform that, if I freeform that sharper, I probably catch that for a touchdown. That's all right. We're just sparring around. We're just playing around here. Obviously, if we were in a real game, like you probably kick that. You probably kick your three. 
So here, cover four to the short side and cover three to the wide side. It's a big deal. It's a, it, it, it really helps this coverage, in my opinion. Um, the other thing you can do is you can um, press, and I'll show you what this does. So when you press out of 3-3, three, three, the safeties come way up. Now, I can re-put them in zones if they'll, if they'll back up. I don't know why he didn't back up my game. I guess it's just... I feel like I'm lagging. I feel like I feel like for whatever reason I'm I'm just I'm super slow. But but if you watch here, um, this is something that's unique to nickel three three. Um, not every formation will bring the safeties up like this. Like, I don't think Dollar does. Um, I don't think the other formations do. I don't know why my guys are not going back, even though I'm literally telling them to go back. What I'm talking about is basically you press. And then you individually back them off. But I feel like my adjustments are just not registering, which is, which is, I'm glad we're back to that because that was Madden 22. So it's, it's good to know that we're taking a step in the wrong direction. EA has just been kind of just something interesting with this product lately. There's just some, like, it's like every, every Madden has problems. But it's like the problems that they're having right now are just just interesting. Like, I can't back my players up. Look at this. I can't back them up. That's frustrating. I don't know why that's happening. <sighs> the life. The life, my friends. All right. So we're going to go cover three to that side. And we have cover four to this side. He's running the ball. Like, you're losing, dude. You're literally losing in second and 13. Second and 12. Now you're in third and 14. Um, yeah, I don't know why I can't back my players up. That's, I feel like that's not normal. So here you see, cover three to the wide side, cover four to the short side. Watch watch how well this is going to play. He's going to come over, break on the ball. That's through. Oh, my goodness. I don't know how he's moving. Come on. Oh my goodness, guys, this is insane. This is insane. I can't catch, I can't, I can't pick the ball. There we go, finally. Yeah, so basically right there, I just felt like he was getting too comfortable, so I sent set five you could the beauty of that base line look is it doesn't look like you can send pressure but you can actually send all the pressure you need uh to make someone have to feel it a little bit so let's see elway freeform lays to say quads yeah i think freeform like freeform, for example, is another thing about this game that's kind of interesting. Like that could have easily just like been an overthrow, you know. And if I don't freeform and it's an interception, um, you know. So it's just some of the things that this year's game is probably the most inconsistent Madden I've ever played. Um, last year's game was the most broken Madden because you had escape artists and you had. You also had like complete, just really bad glitches and, and bugs in the game from, from the start to the end. Um, had they taken Escape Artist out toward the end of the year, I probably would have really liked that game. Um, but they obviously didn't do that. So you see here, see how I'm running cover three to the to the wide side? And then we're going to run cover four to the short side. If you watch how these zones play, they're going to play everything really, really well um when you do it like that if you just ran a standard cover four they could split the safeties like he did only got the touchdown um there's a lot of things that that can go wrong but now that i have a middle third defender i think middle thirds are actually pretty they're not perfect but they're good this year um they actually are i think they're much better than they were last year and when you pair that with a with a quarter zone um you know you're gonna find a lot of a lot of success. Um, the other thing I was gonna talk about is um, 
grid the grid system and zones so we're going to talk a little bit more about this um the more i learn about it I, i'm still learning a little bit but if you think about it um there there's been a grid system in madden for years so certain zones will play certain things consistently or in or not or consistently not play some things right um so there you see there's another good play um and so for example like if i want to throw a, a beat like a like a zone beater i can't run my skinny post from the short side of the field i have to run my skinny po or i have to run my skinny post from the wide side of the field to the short side of the field However, if I want to flood a zone to the left, then I can throw this to the short side, right? So there's things like that that um, help inform why a zone is working versus why it's not. And those are some things that I think everybody would love uh, to actually understand and, and be more aware of. But well, like... If I was to run a post on the left side, it wouldn't be to cover. That wouldn't beat cover three. That would be maybe beat man. It would maybe be like cover two, but it's not going to be cover three or cover four. It has to be. It has to be coming from the wide side of the field, which he's making it very difficult for it to come from the wide side. Let's go to U trips. So like now this post is going to have a better chance of getting open because it's coming from the, from the wide side. That's not the only reason it got open. Any Man, Night Train Lane. This dude can press you into the ground. That's insane. It's the second time he's gotten a crazy good animation on a bad, like, on a bad defense. So if you look to, so like, the post is going to run from the wide side to the short side right but that quarter zone is going to be there to take that see right there that was a great example of that and then the third helps with this stuff over the top so that's that's why the having a having cover four to the short side of the field and cover three to the wide side of the field i think is the best way to play zone um and then obviously you make adjustments as you need to but anyways hope you enjoyed the gameplay wanted to try something a little different got another tip coming later today if you want to get all my ebooks they're linked down in the description below 10 bucks get you access to everything on the Patreon.